hello guys today i'm going to teach you guys how to insert a page border in microsoft word most of times so many people are complaining they don't know how to insert a page border in their documents or in microsoft word to use it they don't know the steps and they don't know how to be able to do it sometimes they try to do it it will become more difficult for them today i'm going to make it very simple and give you all the guidelines you need to insert any form of your page border you want to insert make sure you watch this video to the end so that you're not going to miss any guidelines i'm going to show you today and make sure you subscribe after watching and like the page all right thank you all right now we have to start then the first step is to open the microsoft world by going here and type your program just open it to now open Yeah, you will see your document window. So I'm going to show you guys today two ways. Some people used to insert their page border before typing. Some also used to insert a page border after typing. So the first is to show you guys how to insert your page border before typing. So what you have to do is this. before you insert your page border, first of all, set the page and make sure the page is well set. How are you going to set this page? Now look at the direction. Now go to insert. You want to set your page. Now go to page layout, click on page size, then click on the paper which you are going to use to print at the end of the day, then now set the margins, put in the normal, okay? Now your page is set, so you want to insert your page border before you start typing. All you have to do now is this. All you have to do now is to click on page layout, now go to page border, you can see? Click on page border. Now look at the options here. We have borders, we have page border, and have shared. So we select page border. This is the one we want to make use of. You can see the first option here is none. If you don't want it to have any page border, that means you have to click on none. But if you want to put some page border, depending on the ones you need, you have options here. You have boss, you have shadow, you have 3D, you have custom. It depending on the kind of one you want to use. For example, you want to make use of this one. I want to make this of this one you have some of the options here i can see you have dot lines you have this one so let's just use this one okay now we have to increase the lines a little bit okay increase the line a little bit maybe you want to make the line much broader then after this now all you have to do now is to select do you want the page border to be in the whole page if you want the page border to be in the whole page you choose whole document but if you want the page border to be only in the first page, you choose first page. If you want the page border to be in other page except the first page, you choose this one. But now I want the page border to be in the whole page. So all I have to do now is to select the whole page, whole document, and click it. You can now see my page border. See, I have now come out. Okay, now I can now easily start typing. Maybe you don't like this kind of page, but I want to make use of more attractive ones. All you have to do is to go back to page border. Then you want to use add work to use and do it. Then you click on this place. You can see many options. Maybe you want to use this one. All you have to do is to reduce the font, reduce the size. Just reduce the size. As you are reducing the change to be changing. All right. Just reduce the size to your test. We want it to be a little bit small. Then you now click your page border is here. I seen it. You can see it. Your page border is here. Now you can easily type in your, your test inside the page. You can see your page border is here. So this is the step one. I'm going to show you guys the second step. After typing your document, you want to insert the page border. All I have to do is to save this one first. Go to save, click this one. You now save this one with any name you want to save. Maybe you want to save your this thing. Then you now save in your desktop. This one I've saved. Now close this program. All right, you want to, you know, put a page border in a document that I have already typed. For example, this is the document that I've typed. Now open it. Alright, now look at the steps for you to put 
page brother in this document that you have typed so all you have to do now is to go to layout you go to layout then you now go to page brother all right you now go to page brother then you want to make use of ads you can select any one you like depending on your choice then you go to the width this place you can see it you reduce the shape as you are reducing it's changing the previewing you can be seeing it right you are seeing it so after it comes to your own test maybe just click ok the page will now come out you see as you can see the page brother is there but for example you are typing you just finished typing the document and you don't want the page border to appear in double page you want the page border to appear uh, maybe only at the first page so all you have to do is to go back to page border then go to this place first page only are you seeing this option you just select the first page only click on first page only then click ok the page border will appear only in the first page the second page will not have any page border i see it so if you want to apply the page border in the second page and you don't want it to appear in this first page all you have to do is to go the same process go back to your page border click on your page border click this place then you see the option all except first pages all except first page you all except first pages you are seeing it. the page whether will appear on the second page but it will not appear in the first page so if you want it back in the normal way you want it to be appear in the whole pages now go back to page border then now go to the whole click on whole document click on whole document to appear in the whole document so it's very very simple you know you can learn it and you can be able to be using it to be doing any work you want to do yeah, the guidelines is very very simple so if you want to maybe if you want to select another one this place if you want to select another page border let me show you for the last time the steps you have to go you open your document you have type then you want to select a page border you just go to page layout click on page layout after you might have clicked on your page layout then now go to page border you can see the options here there are two different page brother you can use line as a page brother you can also use art as a page brother this art have symbols that are like flowers you can be able to choose any one you like maybe i want to choose this red one then once you choose it you know it will not like your page brother to become much broader you will set it here if you are setting it it will be showing it will be showing so use this one to be setting it okay you know depending on on the size if you don't want to use that arrow there you can easily type it by your hand, with your hand just type 11 and you press ok you can see it's now out then the whole page have a page border so these are the little steps it's very very simple so i want you to get the guidelines very well and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel time to time i'll be showing you more things that have been done in microsoft word and other programs make sure you watch the video to the end and i thank you for your time